You found another snotchel. Tommy approves. You actually see the stripers chasing the bait right there. We found some fish in a weird place. Okay, I have a saltwater chart here and a freshwater chart, and this is what I do. If I said it once, I said it a million times. Look what humps do. Look at the fish att attracted to that hump. Fish those ledges and humps. Start by looking there. They just get all attracted to it, man. Okay, it's only eight foot. We're up on the hump right now. <laughs> awesome. Crazy as that. Put them down, Mike. They are sick. Right on that drop off, coming down from that hump. Super thick under us, man. From six feet all the way to 20 feet. Very thick. Incredible. Incredible. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. I heard that. There you go, Pop. I heard that drag sink. Oh, that's nice. oh yeah, shaking good. Shaking good. Shaking bank. She's shaking so good. Are you feeling the you feeling the twitching? You feel the twitch? Rig for fire drill. I'm for death charge. Chief, I see you brought your rubbers. Look at them boats up in them rocks. I wish their mothers had never met their fathers. So much life. Bait stripers. Bait stripers. Go. Thank you, Captain. Go grow. That's what we want to see. What a coincidence! Right on the hump. It's a mega snatchel. Mega snatchel. See that right inside that hump? Current goes this way. Bass just sit there. Lines down. Why those fit? See how they're all mostly stacked behind the hump? There's some in the front too, but you just sit right there, let the current bring the bait to them. That's why humps and ledges are great places to look. All those fish. Up in seven feet of water, man. They're sitting right on top of this hump, Mike. That shows you how valuable side scan is, guys. I see all these fish in only seven feet of water. Look at that. They're all up here on top of the hump. It's a lot of fish. Those are all straight bass in the five to 10 pound range. Some bigger ones mixed in. Earlier, they weren't on top of the hump. Now they are. Now they're looking to eat. Look at that. Was that two and a half hours trying to find these fish? Two hours of looking. Two hours and of looking. Once we found them, it's only been a few minutes of fishing. But... Yeah. The second I dropped that spoon down. Yeah.
Pretty. Best. Gold and silver. Send her back. Make more. <laughs> Surfing him right in. <laughs> That's insane, dude. Some of these are just, just the acres of fish back in here. Oh, oh my! <laughs> I see a sweet swirl. Oh! <laughs> so close. Yeah. Good see a rod bouncing. You can actually see the stripers chasing the bait right there. We found some fish in a weird place. Although we've known they were here for years. Okay, sounds good. It's gotta be a caption for the video. Fishing in a weird place. <laughs> there it is. There's another one. Nice one. Make it more. All right, guys. I appreciate you waiting till the end here. It's going to be worth it, I promise you. Okay, I have a saltwater chart here and a freshwater chart, and this is what I do. Say I'm going to launch right here. I'll immediately go to my chart, and I'm going to look for what I call humps. Okay, on the saltwater chart, the little little round circles here. I'm going to go ahead and circle a bunch. You see, I already circled a mess here. Now. These are not perfect humps on a saltwater chart. They're just any kind of obstruction, maybe a wreck, anything that protrudes off the bottom and these big flat sandy areas, anything that sticks up off the bottom is going to hold fish. So uh, I'll just go ahead and circle a bunch close to my ramp where I'm going to fish. And the higher the discrepancy or the larger the discrepancy between the number in the circle and the surrounding numbers, the better. So you see one here, we have what, 104 feet of water and this little one here is 24 foot. So that's quite a little pop off the bottom. That's gonna hold fish. Uh, and salt water, usually the downside uh, edge for the current is gonna be the best. So if the tide is coming in flowing this direction, you wanna start by fishing the down current side. Current can be funny sometimes. So definitely circle the whole area, look around. And once you learn these little humps and spots, you know, you can use different color coded markers for your best ones, your favorite ones. Maybe some work better in spring, some work better in fall, stuff like that. Make a little color coded chart. Moving over to our freshwater chart, it's a little easier because they'll show the actual humps and you'll see the contour lines around them. So say I'm going to launch over here. I'll go ahead and start circling my humps. You know, this is a chart I've used before, obviously. And even look at that little guy right there. And you pay attention to the lines, the contour lines that circle each one. If the lines are very close together, it means it's a very steep drop off. If they're far apart, it means it's more gradual. So you can learn a little more from the chart in freshwater, at least with these charts here. Uh, and that's it, you know, go ahead and circle. I'm gonna launch from here. I'm gonna circle a mess. I'm gonna run and check them all out. And you know, once you learn what one hump does here and there, you'll start to learn from hump to hump what is better. And you'll just learn more and more. You just educate yourself the more you're out there. But it's about maximizing your time on the water. I'm calling this one the million dollar video because I started sharing these secrets many years ago. And I've had people email me and text me and call me and say, Mike, holy cow, what a difference this has made. We catch fish almost every single time we're out there now. We have a plan, we maximize our time, and it's a really fun way to fish. So if you watch this far into the video, hopefully you'll be rewarded with a really cool trick. Uh, I know it's very simple, and if you think of magic tricks, the coolest magic tricks are always solved with the simplest, simplest answers, right? The simplest ways, simplest methods or uh, the answer to some of those complex tricks. Some people think I'm lying with this. I think it's too simple. Trust me, guys. This is a money, 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 money trick. I hope you guys dig it. Please stay safe on the water. Leave a few for me. Please subscribe and give me a like. It really does help, and I really do appreciate it. Love you. Mean it.